Uh, good morning. Uh, it's really lovely to see you today. Um, welcome. My name's Amanda, Reverend Amanda Spence, and I'm from St. Polinus Church in Crayford. Um, to all those who know me, hello, really good to, for you to join me today. And if anybody new, uh, you're very welcome, and it's also lovely to see you too. Um, we are doing a morning prayer from the Celtic tradition. Um, there's a uh, set of words, if you wish to um, download that, pause that now, on the St Polinus website, stpolinus.co.uk. And the readings that we will be doing today are Psalm 120, verse 1, Micah, chapter 4, verses 1 to 2, and Luke, chapter 2, verses 40 to 47. Um, you are very welcome to pause and um, find those now if you wish. Um, well, I'll be doing those so you can just follow it with me. Um, so let us uh, begin. Oh, and before I continue, we have um, some prayers for others during this prayer time. If there is anybody who you'd like prayer for, um, just uh, email me at curate at sympolinus.co.uk but all my detailed contact details are available on the, um, the St Polinus website, stpolinus.co.uk. So we'll still ourselves um, to know that we are in the presence of God as we prepare for this morning's prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord. This is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you sing with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you sing with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you sing of all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you sing of all your strength? Amen. Christ, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. King of endless glory. We now have our readings. And our first reading from Psalm 120, verse 1. In my distress, I cry to the Lord that he may answer me. Our second reading from Micah, chapter 4, verses 1 to 2. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised up above the hills. Peoples shall stream to it and many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And our final reading from, Matthew, um, from Luke 2, verses 40 to 47. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favour favor of God was upon him. Now every year his parents went to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. And when he was twelve years old, they went up as usual for the festival. When the festival was ended and they started to return, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know, that, know, know it. Assuming that he was in the group of travellers, they went a day's journey. 
Then they started to look for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem to search for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. We now continue with the uh, reading from the Celtic Daily Prayer. And uh, this month's subject of readings are based on the subject of pilgrimage. A journeying to a particular place in the expectation that such a journey will have deep significance. It may be to, to a place with personal memories or a holy place where for generations people have prayed and sought God. Everyone's starting point and journey is different inside and outwardly. All kinds of people go on pilgrimage of one sort or another. Not all of them believers is a chance for things to move, to change, perhaps even for God to break into their lives. And this reading is from Geoffrey Chaucer. And they were pilgrims, all that towards Canterbury meant to ride. As soon as was one of them in fellowship, and promised to rise early and take the way to Canterbury. We now have the meditation for this morning. It is a difficult lesson to learn today, to leave one's friends and family and deliberately practice the art of solitude for an hour or a day or a week. For me, the break is most difficult. And yet, once it is done, I find there is a quality to being alone that is incredibly precious. Life rushes back into the void, richer, more vivid, fuller than before. We now continue with uh, prayers for others. As I mentioned before, there's any prayers that you would like uh, prayed at this time, for any special situation or someone on your heart, then um, please let me know. So let us pray. In the name of God, trusting in your might alone, May we receive Jesus' touch to make us whole. May Christ grant us healing of mind, body and spirit. Deliver us from every evil and grant us his peace. We pray today for the parish of St Paulinus and all parishes of this nation. We pray for the community of Crayford pray for all communities, we pray for the nation and for the world, we pray for your hands to be upon us Lord, for your healing touch, we particularly remember Yemen who are going through this difficult time as we are all going through with so little resource, we pray for your protection upon them, we pray for Heidi and for Sunny and for Samantha, for Kim and her daughter, for Sue and for Lindsay. We give thanks for her healing, Lord. We pray for Nikki and for Alex. We pray for hostel chaplains and all of the staff. Remember Darrant Hospital and all hospitals throughout the world. We pray for your strength and your inspiration to support them as they serve those suffering from illness especially at this difficult time of coronavirus. We pray for Jean and for Eve and for Molly and for Jean. 
pray for Joe and her daughter, and we pray for Josephine, Francesca and Deborah, and for Joe. We pray for Paul and for John. We pray for St Polina's School, Haberdashers, May Place, and Shenston. And we pray for all schools who are trying to get children back into school safely, and we pray for those staff. We pray for John and for Lucy, and we pray for Pat. May she rest in peace. We pray for Gwyneth and for Dorothy. We pray for Dawn at this time. We pray for your hand to be upon her and her family. We pray for Faye. We pray for Laura as she supports her during her illness. We pray for Alan and for Jenny, and we give thanks for their healing, Lord. We pray for Teresa. We pray for Terry. And we pray for the whole family. We pray for reconciliation and understanding. And we pray for Audrey. May she rest in peace. We pray for Siobhan and for Henry and for all the family. We pray for your hand to be upon that situation. We pray for Martin and for Joanne and for all the family. And Pauline, may she rest in peace. We pray for Patrick and family. And may Maureen rest in peace. We pray for Kathy and Andrew and the family. And may Janet rest in peace. And we pray for all those families who are coming up for funerals and that experience the loss of a loved one. May they know that your presence with them, Lord. We pray for Sue. We pray for her son. May he rest in peace. We pray for Pat and for Emma and for all the family. May they again know your presence and your love at this extremely difficult time. We now take a moment to remember those on our own hearts that we wish to lift to God now. Lord, hear our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We now continue with our prayers for today. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me, on my left and on my right. This day be within and without me. Lowly and meek yet all powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak. In the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me. Lowly and meek yet all powerful. Christ as a light. Christ as a shield. Christ beside me, on my left and my right. And may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.